Hello everyone, this is Sachin from Creative Technologies. Today let us see how to configure a DVR and how to connect uh, a camera to the DVR. Let us see how to crimp, how to make a connectivity via cable and let us see what are the tools needed, what are the connector needed, what are the items needed and what are the cables needed for this installation. Let me first explain you what are the equipments, tools, connectors, what are the things you need for the installation. Okay, let us see. This is a DVR, four channel, full HD X DVR, and this is a Doom one, two megapixel camera, and this is a power supply for twelve watts power supply for the DVR. This is a mouse for the DVR for operation of a DVR. This is a four channel power supply for the cameras. And this is a LAN cable, which is a Cat5 cable. This can also be used. Some people use this and some people use this type of a cable. Majority of people use this type of a cable. You can use up to 90 meters. This comes with a bundle of 90 meters and this comes a roll of 300 meters something else. And uh, you can use this 3 plus 1 cable. Okay. The, please use for the best clarity the co pure copper cable. These are the BNC connectors. These are the DC power supply cables and uh, this is a cutter this is a small cutter and uh, this is star scroll drive this is a flat scroll drive this is a cutter and this is electric tape please do not use white tape or any other tape except this tape okay now let us see how to connect it okay now let us see how to fix or crimp a connector to the cable let me first take in cat5 cable let me fix both the end with ends with the BNC connector. I will take this type of a connector which is a screwed connector. Okay. First I take a small connector. Okay. Fix in this inside. Okay, rotate it smoothly. Open this. Okay. Take a two pair of a cable just you need okay take two pair of a cable one and two please note the collect cut other cables the other end same check a color which you have taken here and other side take a same color take a small mini cutter insert it rotate a single rotation okay here it is say orange white and uh, green white and orange white please take here an orange white and a green white cut off the other cables Now let me take a single side. I think I will see this will be going to the cameras. Okay, here there are two pairs. Select one pair for the power supply and one pair for the video. One pair, one pair for the DC connection, one pair for the PNC connection. Now let us take a BNC. BNC has a positive and negative. Let us uh, lose the screw. Take a flat screwdriver, lose it. Don't remove the screws loose until it comes to the top okay 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 now let us uh, make uh, cable straight okay now let us see what does how much it needs let me cut it Please see carefully. Now, see the 
have inserted in orange to the positive and white to the negative. Now let us tighten the screw. At the other end, the color code must be samely connected orange to the positive and white to the negative. Okay, now we have a green. Let us take a DC connector, which is this type of a connector. Let me connect this. Let us uh, also lose the screw of this. For this also, I will be connecting green to the positive. See the wire must, the copper content must not come out. Posi the green to the positive and the white to the negative. Make sure or else your camera may not work if the connection goes interconnected tight the screw do not tight the screw more tightly now check it comes out no it is be tightened let us connect to the next side in this side the b and c connector is enough so i will cut off this so there is no need of uh, DC connector because the SMPS uh, because uh, the SMPS has uh, this uh, wiring inside we can insert here inside okay let us uh, connect on the BNC take a BNC check here the orange is connected for the positive and the white is connected for the negative please make sure you are connected at this side also same thing lose the screw peel off this peel this okay insert orange for the positive and the white for the negative Now we have connected the both the ends. Okay. Now let us connect the camera on this cable. Okay. Now let us connect an uh, power supply to the DVR and then monitor cable to the DVR. In case there is HDMI cable, you have a port for HDMI cable. I will explain the port. This is an BNC connector ports which the line comes from the camera and this is a video out you can connect to the old TV this is a audio out okay you can uh, hear the audio this is for the speakers this is HDMI this is a VGA this is for the audio in okay in case of if you have installed a mic you can connect it here and this is a USB port too this is a LAN port okay this is an RS485 it is con you can connect this to the battery and uh, in case of power failure for the backup this is an uh, 12 volts DC connector I will connect the DC connector I will connect this VGA connector okay make screw tight in case there is a chance of losing okay okay now let us connect this BNC connector for audio one and insert it check whether this and this point must be equal insert it and rotate it that's it it has been locked now okay now let us connect it to the power supply this is a four channel power supply let us connect it okay let us peel it off see whether the other side the positive and the negative okay 
the positive is green and the negative is white let me connect the positive to the here it will be the positive and the negative please check let us connect green to the positive and the white to the negative and let me connect now to the camera this one camera insert this with the correct correctly ok lock this now you can connect a DC this has been connected down let us check the video is output has been coming or no ok now let us move on to our monitors ok let me switch on this ok this has been blown in case this has been blinking then your positive and negative has been interchanged so check before connection let me check the display now see our uh, camera has been connected now see here this is a morning mood and see our camera has been connected now this is what your camera has been connected okay this one okay and uh, if you need an how let us see how it comes in the night mode okay this one uh, okay this in the night mode and this in the day mode okay this is the clarity of our camera it's 1.3 megapixel camera okay and this with the this is the clarity with the okay now let us uh, now let us uh, connect our connectors with this 3 plus 1 cctv cable for this i'll be taking a one cable wire and one BNC connector which is other type not a screw type okay okay now let me open it peel it the cable cover one side okay take it and roll it this connector is easy for using or opening the cover this is a little bit tougher okay let us uh, take this is and these are the negative power cable this is a positive power cable this is a cable for mic this is a cable for video inside this there will be a copper two type copper cable okay and aluminium cable let us see okay alloy cable it may be the cable comes in the different forms it may be alloy orange copper there are many types of a cable you can take a cable for your conveniency and for the best clarity okay now let us uh, open this okay i'll take this connector before this insert this cap inside this cable okay now it's been i do not require a mic cable here so i'll be leaving it off i will not take it this are the two cables which i require this and negative and this and positive okay let me open this Okay, here I have an okay here there is a silver paper remove it off it is not required okay tight it rotate it okay see check whether how much the cable is we need for the connection you need this much I will be taking of this Here there is a screw, lose it. Do not remove it. If this screw it lost it, it is very much change the BNC. Okay, let me see. Now okay. Now remove this little bit. Okay. Now let me insert this both outside. Insert the cable and I will be removing please check this I will be inserting inside the copper cable and this alloy cable I will be inserting this copper cable inside this cable outside okay 
tight the screw see carefully tight this now insert this like this that's enough if there is a required of tape tape it i'll be inserting a tape because in case the cable must not go out this is how i inserted the tape it will be tightened okay now insert the cap take this cables out take this cable out i do not need this i'll be taking two cables okay for this i'll be taking a wire dc okay please see the video carefully cut this both okay join a black to the black and red to the red okay tape it off now one side the cabling is ready and let me let us take other side okay same procedure in case if your cable is not come please do like this do not do like this cable okay now let us open this see this in for this purpose you need a long cable so you need a cable knife here we cut it slowly the inside wire must not get damaged cut it slowly cut it very slowly drag this cable okay now it has been come out and tape here you can take still more you need okay now tape it here tape it tightly Okay, you are taped here. Take these cables. Okay, now insert. Take this BNC. Remove it. Insert the cap. You insert the cap. Okay. Now you want to remove this. Now you have to remove this. Take this cable. Same procedure with the last cable. I connected. Remove this slowly. There will be normal uh, no more cables inside this. Okay. Now remove this case. Uh, silver paper. It is very easy. Once or twice, if you try it, 
you place you can uh, easy, easily do this take this measurement cut it off peel it off now remove the screw now insert this inside tight the screw instead of calling a technician for a simple work you can do if you do not get this how to do please call up the technician or call us we will support you or guide you ok now tape it in case of any damages or any P cable has been peeled you can do it at your home there is no risk of calling in some places there will be a technicians will be not available so for emergency purpose you can do it this is what we have done now ok now this end there is a cap you must remove this white color cap that's it at the other end also same because it is a new cable use best quality connectors because some cable may go to the rust so ok now both the end has been done ok now let us connect it with the DVR now let us uh, connect uh, our camera with this cable ok for this cable uh, Okay, normally insert this for the proper okay and rotate it. That's it. Okay, let us now connect this cable to the our power supply. Take a red and the black cable. If you do not require, please uh, fold it. Okay, let me connect this. This is a positive and negative. Let us uh, peel it off. Okay, let us insert this. This is a positive. This is a negative. Let us now connect our camera. If you have any queries, you can uh, WhatsApp me on my number. My number is below. You can text us. Call us. We will support you for the issue. There is no need of any hesitations. Feel free to call us. Okay. Our numbers are below. And we will uh, troubleshoot your any issues. Okay. And if you like this video, please like click on the like button if your friends need to watch this they may get helped please share if you want this type of videos regarding the electronic gadgets okay subscribe to our channel creative technologies let us now power on it there is no flashing here okay now let us see the video See the video has been coming here. Let us uh, maximize this. See this is what the camera clarity and now the video is very clarity. So this is what you can do in case of any troubleshootings or anything else. Okay, and one thing I'll show you how to format the hard disk of the DVD DVR. Go to menu main menu right click on the screen go to main menu okay if you have a password here please type the password or uh, let's click ok okay then go to HDD management in some other DVS some options will be changed but the names are same okay okay then select here click on format the option must be read and write disk then format here it will get formatted App, the DVR will restart.
see now it's showing the remaining capacity the hard disk has been formatted then okay okay this is what how to reset your DVRs. go to right click on the screen main menu then system then go to restore if you select this and apply okay you will everything will be restored okay thank you for uh, watching this video okay please subscribe to our channel creative technologies thank you for watching thank you